What is going on guys, it's your boy Jacob here, Warface Tika. We are back with a brand new cooking video with my man, Cheo, Face House Official Chef. And we just finished up at, what is it? Uh, ShopRite. And we have bought things to make the craziest pizza ever. We're currently driving back home now. We have all the stuff here in the back seat. We bought, what did we get? We bought onions, pepper. Honestly, chicken, we're, onion, we're gonna pepper, miss something onion. because we bought a lot of stuff to make crazy pizzas. We should be having a pretty cool cooking session right now. I'm excited. I haven't made a homemade pizza in over a year. My mom makes them sometimes back home in Sweden, but now that we have the official chef who can probably help out a little bit, make things a little bit better. Get it. You excited? Oh, I'm so excited. We are back at the house and this is what we are gonna make for the pizza tonight. We have a lot of stuff, probably stuff you would have never had on a pizza yourself, but who cares? We're making it crazy, huh? We are having peppers, red onion, we are having some beef, chips on it, that's right, we're actually gonna have chips on the pizza, uh, pizza sauce, chicken, cheese. We have some roast beef, and here we have, for the bread for the pizza, we have bacon, and we have pepperoni, and some green stuff over there that we are might put on as well. But basically, as you can tell, this pizza is gonna be stacked, and there's probably things you would have never ever thought about having on a pizza, at least not combined like this. Let's go! The pan's a little big, so it looks like the pizza's small. Yeah, right? like the pan is bigger than it may seem. It's actually a big piece of dough, and uh, the pan is just really big. Like, this is for a big pizza. So we have like a medium-sized pizza right here. It's not as small as it may seem. We're gonna put on the pizza sauce right now, I'm pretty sure. And then we're just gonna, oh, let me start the oven. 350. So you put it off in the middle. Oh, you're doing it like the real people. I know, I've seen how people do pizzas, and you're doing it like the real people. And then you go, like this, and then? No, don't even need to do that. I'm gonna show you another trick. Really? Yeah. You you got tricks for me? Oh. You gonna show me tricks? Yeah, so you spread it. Whoa, that's some next level shit. Yeah, <laughs> we got the cheese ready. How good is this looking already? Even we are like, so even we so barely cheese, even started. You the know? cheese also is gonna be on the crust, as you can see. And the way we cook it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna burn up, so it's actually gonna be pretty well. Woo, this is like a, like the one from Pizza Hut. Oh, cheese crust? Yes, dude, I love peppers. I love them too, this is huh? gonna be so good! Got the red onion coming on too. Don't wanna put too much, just enough. Bam! So and now, now nice and colorful. Yes, 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 yes. We actually got some color on it too. Not just meat and crazy shit. We actually have some veggies on it too to make it yep. not healthy, but you know, we're trying. Some of it. <laughs> Now, a few green. Yes. So you want to put all this stuff first to cover the top. Because we're going to have a lot of meats on top. The meats need to cook. So we'll keep the meat up on top. So we're going to crush some nachos just to make it... Ooh. Yes! Oh, this is going to be so weird. A Mexican style pizza. That's what it? I'm saying, yeah. The only thing we're missing that we should have bought, jalapenos. Oh, but yes. it is what it is. It, it's all good. It's all good. Already finished and sliced pieces of chicken. Perfect. Absolutely perfect right now. We got roast beef. This is, I don't, I've never even heard roast beef going into pizza. <laughs> We're gonna have roast beef on a pizza because fuck it. Why not? I've never heard about it either, but you know, it is what it is. I have absolutely no doubt. Might be a little bit crazy. Might not eat the whole of it. But a slice or two, I think we'll we gotta, do we like have it. to eat it. We made it. We of course, it. of course, dude. But they will glue together with the cheese. It's gonna be really, really good. Basically just glue it all together, especially the chips. The Sandwich style pepperoni, but we are breaking the law and being hella badasses and using it on pizza, not a sandwich. No. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're the chef and all, Cheo, yeah. what do you think? I know exactly what I think, I just wanna hear your opinion. I think this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it is! <laughs> just gonna put a couple here around it and we are good to put it in the oven. Look at this, look at this, look at this. One in the middle. BAM! Yo! This is a heavy pizza. Good shit, Che. I can't wait to try this out, honestly. Yeah. Craziest pizza ever, boys. Around five, six minutes less, possibly a little bit more if we need to have it in for a few more minutes, but it's starting to look really crispy. I'm not really sure how well you can see it because the lighting is kind of weak in there, but the cheese and the pepperoni on top is starting to look really good. Are you starting to get excited now, Cheo? Uh, like the smell and everything? So excited. Ah. 
So it doesn't look too much right now, but when we slice this and like we show you guys oh like God. in more detail, because there's so much stuff under what you see right now. It's hiding well. Yes. It's thick. It's thick. There is a lot on it, all right? There is a lot on this pizza. All right, Cheo, let's cut this pizza up and uh, get some slices going. Like when I'm looking at it, it looks very basic, but if you like look at the actual like the the depth of it yeah. and like the thickness, like there's so much on it. I guess we made a Mexican style pizza. All right, Tigo, since this is your idea to make this pizza, here you go. I, I get the first one? Yeah. Let's go. God damn. <laughs> mm. So good. I got one one bite and I got the pepperoni, the chicken, the red onion, yep. the peppers I felt and yep. and then I got one of these from the the, the the chips. Yes. So good. Actually, this is good. This is low key. Normally when I make these videos we tend to go a little bit too crazy and you can't really like, you can eat it, but you can't really finish it. I could easily eat this pizza right now. I could actually finish this. This is so good. This is actually pretty good. This is actually more eatable than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, you know, as I said, a slice or two maybe, then, then you're fine. I could finish this pizza. We thought, all right, let's, <clears throat> if we don't enjoy this or if it gets a little bit too crazy, let's just make like a regular like cheese and pepperoni pizza, like cheese and ham pizza, but like, I'm down to just eat this. Eat it's this. so good. <laughs> Let's go. What would you rate it? Out of all pizzas we can make, and to be surprisingly, I give it like a seven and a half, eight. Same. I eight. A solid eight out of not being biased and hyping up myself or Cheo. Second off. Considering how crazy we just it is. Create, we just create, came out of nowhere with right? this, so. As you guys always do whenever I'm making a cooking video, you guys kill it. Tweet me things you make, tag me and Cheo in it, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you new, and check out Cheo's Instagram in the description. Peace out. Wow, this is good.